Hello guys and welcome to another edition of Rage Against the Dice. Today we're continuing on with my Age of Sigmar slash Kings of War slash retrospective look at Skaven models um, with an unboxing of the Skaven Storm Fiends. Now I'm a massive Skaven player. I don't mean I'm morbidly obese, although, yeah, it's that, yeah, it's neither here nor there. Um, but yeah, I've never seen this kit before because by the time this came out, um, I was kind of done with Warhammer for a bit. Um, yeah, I didn't get this in time because End Times was coming and such, I believe, when these were released. And yeah, then Age of Sigma. But now I'm excited to have a look at them. So all that rambling aside, let's bust these bad boys open. As you can see, as always with me, with any unboxing, uh, shrink wrap is still on. Partly because I know you guys like to watch me struggle with the stuff. I swear, God. Like, I know that it's meant to protect it, but... <laughs> Other people have to struggle with this stuff as much as I do, surely. Right. Now, the only problem with doing unboxings in this manner, where we always take the shrink wrap off and stuff, is that if there's any problems with the sprue, you guys get to see it straight away. Uh, so it puts Games Workshop in either a positive or negative light. So, boom, let's get right into it basis are already there so let's have a look so first thing i will notice is games workshop are still supplying all these models with square bases which is cool and if you want to still continue with uh warhammer fancy then that's really really good but surely by now that they've ran out of all the kits like they had run out online of clan rats recently and now they're back up in stock which means that they ran out and they had to press more models <laughs> So, why did they make square bases? Um, now, I know you're probably thinking, well, they're probably just working through their backlog of square bases. Um, but this is, what, two, three years on now? And we're still getting square bases for some of these older models? It seems silly. Games Workshop should just stop producing square bases if they're not... You know, if they're not supplying any models... Sorry, if no models use square bases, then stop giving us square bases. Um, it's a small gripe, but it's one I'm voicing quite loudly here, obviously. I am, however, quite happy for these at the minute because I am going to use them for other things. So it's not the end of the world, but my rant still stands. Games Workshop, what are you doing? So, again, older kit, um, and not like the Seraphim and things like that that have been updated. Oh. It does have some rules in the back. Let's see what these are for. Are these unit size 3 plus? Oh no, this is old fantasy stuff. Um, so yeah, they haven't, un they haven't updated these either. Let's move the camera out so you guys can see it a bit better. Um, old school detail, <laughs> no words. Um, copy the pictures. So you get, but not colour coded, so that's how you know it's old. But yeah, so let's have a look at the spruce, because meh, you just don't care about the instructions, or put those somewhere safe. Right, let's have a look at each of these sprues. Um, now, somebody commented recently on one of my unboxing videos that I didn't show the finished model at the end. And then I, in turn, commented on someone else's unboxing video saying they didn't finish their model at the end and it was just kind of like a knee-jerk reaction someone said it to me and then I, yeah, it stuck in my head and then when i watched someone else's unboxing video i kind of i reiterated that sentiment but looking back on it and thinking about it it's an unboxing video it's not a how to build so uh suck it <laughs> if you want to see how they look look there or here um <laughs> And I joke, obviously, because it's one of my good friends who actually said that, so he won't mind me telling him to suck it. But, yeah, I will do a separate video on these. Um, I might actually do a paint and guide video on them, because I used to love painting rat organs. Um But, yeah, anyway, let's get to the sprue, because I've waffled. So, you get a couple of big drills. You get a load of gatlin -y gun stuff, which I'm going to try and not use where possible if I can. Uh, a, because I want to save them for Gaslands. I know those guns are going to be massive. And B, because I just don't think they fit the aesthetic that I'm going for. So you seem to get one of each on a sprue. So let's have a look at the second one. I 
hate these big chunky armor bits as well but obviously they have to go on there so uh shut up kevin deal with it <laughs> or else um like i'm hoping i don't have to use these as well uh because these would look really really good for gaslands but no these are this is still in that stage where games workshop were producing really high quality sprues which they are now um but where you got a bit of choice on the sprue i find that some of the newer sprues you don't get as much choice um you know, someone will pop in the comments how I'm wrong, and this X Space Marine kit comes with this many extra bits, etc. And that's fine, you know, that's cool. I don't buy every Games Workshop product anymore. I'm just giving you the opinion on the stuff that I do actually buy. Um, I do find that you get a few more little bits in the kits in sort of this era. It's sort of the 2005 to 2015 ish, maybe. Uh, maybe 2005 to 2012. I can't remember exactly when the switch happened. Uh, but yeah, uh, and not that before 2005 thing where you got clan rats in 20 bits. You know, it was the nice medium ground. You got loads of extra goodies. Um, it made me sad that they don't really put extra rats on bases anymore for Skaven because they're cool. But yeah, so anyway, back to the sprue. You guys could see it in front, so as I'm waffling... So again, these are nice, chunky, sort of biggish models. Now, this has like little steam cannony hands, and if possible, I'm going to try and get around not having those on. But I guess they'd still work because they're kind of blunder bussy. And uh, eh. I don't know. Obviously, the purpose they were designed for isn't the purpose I'm using them for. They're storm fiends. I'm going to use them as kind of just brutes for um that other game kings of war that's the one i do apologize guys like i was full of gusto when these arrived like a hop skip and jump kind of thing but but all the air has been taken out my sails probably by the square bases um for the record i love square bases uh i prefer square bases because of ranking up but as much as i i'm a very big sort of arguer for your game's not dead you can still play it stop your whinging with the whole fantasy thing i miss it um but i i do tend to lean towards the it's only dead if you sell all your stuff and burn your rule books like games workshop didn't come and take them off you that being said it's a two-player game and if none of my mates are playing fantasy then i by that logic cannot play fantasy as well so I do still argue the point that just deal with it, stop whinging. At the same time, I can't play fantasy because none of my mates want to play fantasy anymore. They've either quit and sold their stuff, um, or they have moved over to Age of Sigma and do not wish to look back. Now, I love Age of Sigma. You guys know that. You've heard me talk about it before. Um, I'm currently still doing up my demons, and obviously these Skaven are going to get integrated into a Skaven army as well. A Skaven Age of Sigma army. However, I do still love fantasy. It's a different game. I hate when people compare them. It's two different games. It's like comparing Monopoly to Scrabble. They're both board games. They're both fun or subjectively fun. Obviously, I can't tell people what to like or dislike. Um, yeah, I won't. <laughs> so that's the thing. But yeah... I don't know where I was going with that. Yeah, I, I miss fantasy. It's different age of Sigma, completely different. It uses the same models um, and some of the same kind of lore. Ugh, if you can't. I love age of Sigma, the game. Age of Sigma reminds me very much of Hordes and War Machine in the fact that I loved playing the game. I love playing the game in the case of age of Sigma, War Machine, first and second edition I loved playing. I'm not so keen on the new version, um, but that's just me. But I don't care about the law. I don't like the law. It's, I liked the Lord of the Ringsy-esque fantasy setting with the Skaven and High Elves and Dark Elves and stuff. And this new kind of high fantasy thing, it's not for me. And that's cool, you know. Not everything has to be for me, and I'm sure Games Workshop aren't losing any sleep over the fact that I still buy their models, I just don't read their law. Um, or when I do read the law, I sigh a lot and kind of shake my head and 
yeah, th this has gone from an unboxing video to me ranting about Age of Sigma, which is what it wasn't meant to be. Um, I love the game. I don't like the law. I think the law is not designed. It's not the kind of thing I like. I don't like that high fantasy thing. I like sort of your traditional fantasy, basically. And that's fine. Um, much like I love the grim, dark aesthetic of 40k compared to the older rogue trader um where it, it was much more silly uh, and that's cool and obviously i a lot of my friends are huge rogue trader guys and i'm probably going to get lynched for it um and i do love the role play the rogue trader role play on a little sidebar there but yeah um you know you can't like every aesthetic and you can't like every thing but as a game i love age of sigma I do miss fantasy though, um, and if there's anyone who watches our channel who lives close enough by me who still has fantasy armies and still wants to play fantasy, um, I've got virtually every army book since 3rd edition, I would say. Um, no, well whichever edition was out in 1992, 93, which is when I got into the hobby I think, um, earlier if you go on Hero Quest and War. I'm going to shut up now. So, thank you guys very much for watching this half unboxing, half rant video. Um, I'm looking forward to putting these together. They're really nice little kits. I like the fact that it's an individual model per sprue. Um, I very much prefer that to the bouncing around getting, you know, six models off 20 sprues. The quick other sidebar, the new Dark Imperium set... I love that set, but the fact that the models are dotted over multiple sprues makes it really annoying if you do what a lot of people did, which is we're going to buy a copy together and we're going to split it because you have to physically sit there and sort it out. It's not a case of just like, there's your sprues, there's my sprues. Um, but yeah, I guess they're doing it. It's definitely not a cost-saving effort, but you do get a lot more models in the newer sets, so maybe it's to do with that. Um, but yeah. I'm looking forward to getting these built. I'll show you guys them when they are built. If I don't do a video on them, which, you know, there's a chance I won't, you can always check out our Instagram and our Twitter and our Facebooks, etc. The links are always in the description below. I will also put a link to these models in the description so that you can buy them if you wish. Um, I didn't actually get them from Games Workshop this time or Firestorm or any of the other places. I went with Goblin Gaming because it worked out even after postage and packaging, their discount was still so much better than anything else online. So give them a check out. I'm, they don't sponsor me. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. It's the first time I've ever used them. But I ordered yesterday dinner time, and it came today dinner time. So a 24-hour turnaround um, and a 20% saving and really cheap postage and packaging, to be honest, to get it to my house. So, I can't complain. Check them out. But yeah, the usual. Like, subscribe. If it's the first time you've ever been to the channel, check out some of our older videos. Uh, let me know what stuff in the comments you want to see. Whether you want to see more Kings of War stuff. Whether you want me to cover Age of Sigmar more. Um, whether you want to see some old school Warhammer Fantasy Battle stuff, actually. Because I've got so many armies for it. That I could probably run through and give a couple of people demo games and stuff. But yeah. Just let us know in the comments what you want to see. And as always, guys, pray the dice cards and hope they smile upon you. Thank you very much for watching today. Take care.